Hello guys, welcome back and this is Rupesh and you know, watching CPP Nerds video series on C++ 14 feature list and this is going to be the first video on C++ 14. So we know that there are major changes in C++ which is C++ 11, 14 and 17. And I was thinking first I will complete C++ 11 then I will move to C++ 14 but uh, I could not stop myself from creating this 14 video because it's totally new thing right so it will be a fun to learn and parallel we will look for this C++ 11 and 17 so stay with me if you want to learn 11 14 and 17 so let's start this video and this video is about a digit separator so if I tell you that how much big this number is it will be a little hard for you to actually calculate this but what if I do this you can directly tell that okay this is one median correct but uh, can you write this comma in your programming language no you cannot you always write your number like this without comma and there is a less good readability that what is this number is so in C++ 14 feature we have this digit separator and we have used a single quotation mark which is this tiny little thing here to actually use as a digit separator here so we will not use the comma because comma will lead to the confusion sorry so we will be using this and this is the example for long decimal values you can use this syntax to actually write the number in your program so let's go line by line now there is a better code reusability with the digit separator that's what we saw here second is you can use single quotation mark for digit separator correct we will use this only because this is what people have chosen to actually use as a digit separator not the comma or not the underscore because there are some languages which support this underscore for digit separator or uh, comma for digit separator but oh wait a minute this is, uh, underscore is there for digit separator for i'm not but i'm not sure for the comma but we could have used the comma but there is a problem with the comma or underscore and all and we'll see that in this third point why digit separator is this why not something else so if you are using underscore like one underscore zero 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 underscore zero 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 then this is not a good looking and there is some confusion I mean somebody can get confused with this kind of stuff and if you are using one comma triple zero comma triple zero and if you pass this inside some function let's suppose function okay suppose you are calling this function with this number then it is a confusion that whether you are passing three different parameters or it is one number because we are using comma here correct so this is a confusion this could be parameter 1, parameter 2 and parameter 3. So to avoid all these confusion we will be using I mean people who designed C++14 decided to use single quotation mark for this digit separator. And the fourth point is there is no rule for using single quotation mark sign for digit separation. So as I said there is no rule so actually you can write like this you can apply quotations here. But if it is a meaningful, then only you go for it. Otherwise, it will screw up your readability. You remember, we started including this particular digit separator feature in 14 just for code readability. But if you will screw this by placing anywhere, it will be a problem. And it does exactly the reverse thing. So let's quickly see the example. Let me write a simple code here. It won't take much time okay so this is our simple program here we are not doing anything fancy and by compiling this program I wanted to show you that we can use only C++ 14 for this not C++ 11 okay so if I'll compile this with C++ 11 it won't compile it will give me the error saying that this character is causing a problem here because C++11 doesn't have this feature so let's compile with C++14 so if I'll write C++14 enter see it got compiled and if I'll execute this we have this number fine so no big deal this is for code readability 
and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button guys it will encourage me to create more videos like this i'll see you in the next videos on c++ feature list bye bye